And in the parking lot behind me, you can take a look here. Cars are arriving. They're going to have a big party tonight. They thought they might have it last night. They thought they might have it the night before. But now it's going to happen because it does appear that Joe Biden will be the next president of the United States, Kamala Harris, the next vice president of the United States. It's going to look and feel a little different than other election night celebrations because of COVID-19. People will have to stay in their cars so that they are social distanced. Out here on the other side of the fence, it's been a party since this was announced hours ago, Mike. And we heard a statement from Joe Biden saying, now is the time to move past the divisions and the sharp rhetoric of this election and begin to heal. And we think those will be some of the themes that we hear in the speech tonight. Jill Biden, the wife of Joe Biden, released a photo there earlier. That's been getting a lot of traction on social media. And Kamala Harris made a phone call to Joe Biden. Listen. We did it. We did it, Joe. You're going to be the next president of the United States. <laughs> now, for Joe Biden supporters, this has just been a day of celebration. I have Candy and Christine here with me. Candy, what does this night mean to you? This night means to me that all of our hard work, all of our campaigning and our calls have come to fruition. I'm so happy, too, that um, for the first time in history, we have an African-American female um, as our vice president. And um, I am just bursting at the seams because I'm so happy at what we have managed to do. And we have incredibly happy. Hey, Christine, let me ask you, how do you hope the country will be different after Joe Biden is inaugurated January 20th? I think that's one of the strengths of Joe Biden. He's able to unite people. He's able, we've seen that throughout his 47-year career. We've seen him reach across the aisle. We've seen him just do tremendous things. And that's what we're looking for. America is at the point now where we need to come together. And I can say that as an African immigrant in this country, first-generation African immigrant. And I am just delighted to be a part of this process and just to see democracy happen in the, such a way that, that will bring people together. He is definitely going to be the uniter-in-chief, and we're looking forward to the next four years. Christine Candy, thank you very, very much. And we've heard that kind of message repeatedly, Mike, that even partisan Democrats who worked on this campaign are looking forward to a president that will bring the country together. It won't be easy, but that's their hope.